Okay, assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, what is the time here? Okay, 7.53. This is the Mi Box uh, 4S Pro from Xiaomi. Uh, peace be upon you, assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad with another unboxing, review, hands-on test. Uh, this one is selling under $100, one of the best TV boxes. If you want to go with the Xiaomi, uh, obviously TV box, uh, Bluetooth uh, 4.2, I think so. It has search and control, voice, con uh, voice control, voice search option. This is the, their first, their first model that can uh, go up to 8k uh, streaming ninjas 8k it has an analogic octa core chip to clock at 1.8 has 2 gb ram 16 gb rom and, uh, of course it has android 9 it has hdmi 2.1 uh, dual band wi-fi so let's go here, here with the unboxing what i love about the me uh, box it is this beautiful white sleek look i'm gonna we're gonna just look around it without by the way this version which i'm having this is the chinese version i don't know that they released even the global i don't think there's a global version of the me box uh, for s pro pro variant uh, oh my god the controls also looks very beautiful and that's it that's it what do we have in the box let's check it out so we have a hdmi cable like see myself Okay, HDMI cable, we checked it out. We have a uh, Chinese adapter. Uh, of course, you'll have to use a, a converter for it. Like see myself. We have here a controller, a beautiful sleek controller, original Xiaomi controller for this TV box. See myself here, it has a voice search option, but it seems that it doesn't have a mouse option. Ooh, don't tell me that it doesn't have a mouse option, man. Come on, bro, give me a break. We have here also some manuals, probably English and Chinese, or maybe just Chinese. English, English and Chinese. I think English and Chinese. Let's check it out. Uh, English and Chinese here. So, no, only Chinese. Only Chinese, bro. Only Chinese here. There's no English word. Anyway, that's it, Ninjas. That's it regarding the content. Let's go to the TV box. Uh, this is the TV box, the Mi Box 4S, guys. Uh, quickly, we're gonna just see here. I love it, man. A beautiful white color here. It just looks so nice, so beautiful. Of course, the the box itself here. It's a very nice premium design, premium materials. Uh, this is not plastic. Have that in mind. Sorry for that. This is not metal. Have that in mind. That this is not metal over here. I think this is all sturdy plastic. Uh, so what do we have? We have AV output. We have HDMI uh, port. We have one single USB port. Only one single USB port. And of course, we have here. Uh, of course, we have 3.5 mm type jack, and we have DC, uh, of course, for the plug for the power. And that's it. Nothing else, just nothing else whatsoever. We have some options just on the back, some uh, Mi Box, Mi Box, Mi logo. Yeah, that's it. Very thin, very small mini TV box from Xiaomi. So yeah, what are the, of course, the selling points which you mentioned? It does have a quad-core chip clocked at 1.9, Mlogic chip, Mali G31, Android 9 system, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, supports 8K, 4K, uh, Dolby Audio, DTS 2.0, and digital out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so let's go now immediately connect it with it with my monitor or maybe with my TV with my TV in the living room. We'll see how it looks like. We're gonna start with the YouTube. Uh, checking the Play Store, checking the UI, and of course, maybe checking in one, two games. Remember, the buying links will be in the description to purchase this sweet looking TV box. Okay, just here we are. Uh, it's gonna be a very short video since I'm having a Chinese version of this Mi Box 4S Pro. Uh, obviously, uh, if I find that there is a global version right now available, I will leave the li uh, buying links in the description. Uh, so far, I love, uh, firstly, just to give a small shout out for this beautiful, beautiful d-pad ninjas this beautiful d-pad i just love the clicks uh, you can obviously you can see that this is a more premium controller in the hand just these buttons are you know that it's a more more expensive more premium than those cheaper ones around 50 dollars for sure this is just amazing amazing controller shame that it doesn't have a mouse option shame 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 so first what i'm going to show you is uh, i need to show you if you're going to buy the chinese version uh, obviously, you can sideload Ninja's uh, Play Store uh, uh, different applications uh, using the USB port. Uh, regarding the settings, the, the option, there is a Chinese, like see myself, it's like a half-half Chinese. There is an English also language with this one. Where you need to go is, uh, you saw it when I was I done. You go up, you use the up uh, basically arrow. And you need to find this icon, which is generic icon for settings option, option setting or, or option. Uh, go to the general settings and go to the right and from here you can select English Ninjas or Chinese language, you remember that. Uh, there's only Chinese and English versions so, so far that I know. And from here you can also adjust different settings, uh, device and Bluetooth, account and security, image settings, uh, sound settings and uh, about 
and this let me just see here, new ITV version, new box OS 2.4.2, storage network device info, uh, phone, copyright, privacy, yeah, all of that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's go back now. So if we go to the Windows number three, on uh, window number three, because I don't know the Chinese, so I could translate it, uh, but uh, using the Google uh, camera translator, but regarding the applications, this is what we have regarding the standard applications, like you see by stuff, App Store, TV Manager, Media Player, Mi Home, Game Center, Settings, Weather, Alarm Center, Gallery, uh, Mi TV, uh, Pictoria, and the Notifications, and Wireless Sharing, that's it. And now, uh, quickly, we're gonna go and test. Uh, I'm gonna just go a bow and use uh, use my extension Toshiba here. I just connected my uh, basically external uh, hard drive, and from here, I'm having different applications. Ninjas, so all of these are like uh, offering. Uh, uh, let me just go example to just a minute. We're gonna go to okay this one. Uh, yeah. Let's go here and select and check here the video. So this is the video right now, testing the four, uh, this is 1080 p, 1080p video. I think I'm also having something with the 4K, but it just, it looks amazing. The, obviously the processing here just, uh, it's not laggy at all. It's what I love about the uh, Xiaomi's TV boxes here, at least the newer uh, versions. Uh, gaming wise, obviously still the Mlogic S922X is the best uh, for around $120. Uh, it is better than this TV box. Uh, maybe it's not Xiaomi, maybe it doesn't have these options, but I'm launching S922X, uh, if you are into the gaming, you should buy this one, stay away from this uh, uh, Mlogic chip inside of the Mi Box uh, 4S Pro with the 2GB RAM. Anyway, beautiful, like see myself here, this is just beautiful right now picture, which we're seeing right now. I can even turn off the lights, so let's see how it looks like without the lights off. Yeah, lights off, lights off. Mmm, sweet, nice, looks very nice here. Uh, by the way, uh, there's no option to mute completely the volume, you need to go up and down or you can simply just use the controller of your TV and just, of course you can use the controller of your TV for this. There you go, probably gonna have both of them <coughs> in the same place. Okay, now we're gonna test a bit the sound, let's see here, testing the sound now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Acapella only voices from the uh, only sounds from the obviously from your mouth. Beautiful. This is right now watching some uh, movie like see yourself Harry Potter. Looks very beautiful here. Using the external high HDD, remember that the hard drive. So far it looks uh, it works flawlessly. You have option here to obviously uh, go with the scale, different scale adapter or fit to screen. Of course, most of you are probably going to use fit to screen option. Awesome. 